Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Friday evening, slightly after 7 p.m. It has been a long week. I have spent every day doing day job stuff. Obviously, you haven't gotten a video all week, and I told you you probably wouldn't. I was out with the rep that was covering this area and going on meetings with her, learning how much I'm gonna have to learn. And then yesterday my boss came and he went with us to some meetings, but then she went on and did the rest of the meetings today while him and I actually ended up sitting in three shifts all day. Problem with that was I've been sitting on a bar stool all day. I had an excruciating pounding headache that started probably about noon and I'd been sitting there since 10, but we left at like four. So from 10 to four, we sat in three ships. We got along great, we had a good time, I learned a lot. We set up expectations and what's gonna happen in the, like the next three months. It all looks pretty exciting to me, albeit challenging because again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, all right, I know what I'm doing. I don't know the new stuff. And that's what is a little bit overwhelming. So cart before the horse, he's not worried, which makes me not worry either. Otherwise, yes, I had an excruciating headache. My head was just getting increasingly throbby. Ended up actually taking ibuprofen again, and I've been taking it too much. I'm getting into bad habits again. I don't want to do that, but it really hurt. So I actually ended up going in and sitting on my inversion table for a while to stretch my spine out, and I actually feel a hell of a lot better. But I'm not going to be sitting in here any longer tonight. I'm going to film this quick video just to give you a heads up of what's been going on, and then I'm going to go downstairs and chode on the couch. In the meantime, I'm shooting on the FX30. Yay! Already love it. The minute I pulled it out of the box, I loved it. Right now I've got the FX30 with the 10-20 to 20 F4 uh, power zoom lens and the Sony ECM-B10. That's pretty much the way it's going to be set up, with the exception of times where I don't feel like having that microphone kind of sticking up and in the way, and I'll put the DJI wireless mic that I always use, because I love that thing. So I got this thing and I started kind of setting it up yesterday because it was supposed to come on Wednesday and it didn't and it didn't show up until yesterday so when I got back from being on the road doing all the meetings all day I swung by the UPS store got it came home put the screen protector on put the two CFXA Express cards in and formatted them kind of got the settings set up enough that I could film with it and then I started to film with it and realized that I have a lot more settings to go through. So actually I had gotten ready to go to bed and realized that there was something else I needed to set, walked back in here, set it. And then today I took it with me in the morning and I set it down on the front seat. That was no big deal, except that when I came back in, it was still warm and I was like, wasn't sunny out it shouldn't be warm underneath this as I had I had like a, a little uh, sweatshirt over it turns out I left it on but it didn't default like other cameras have to shutting off in a certain amount of time it defaulted to just staying on so I killed the battery so it was on all day until the battery died and sitting under a sweatshirt on good job monkey so that is the first thing I changed when I came home. And ever since then, whilst I've been fisting down food and doing whatever and trying to not think about how bad this headache was, I was going through page by page, setting by setting, looking at everything and getting it all set up. So I think I've got that pretty much all set up with the exception of maybe adding stuff to like my menu. But even with the quick menus now, I don't have to do an awful lot, but I'm still gonna go through now. On the downstairs, I'm gonna play with it and look at all the settings. Again, take my time. Tonight, I'll watch more videos. This weekend, on and on and on. It's fantastic so far. I'm totally digging it. Oh, I forgot to put the seat up. Hey there, now I'm like face to face and filling the frame. So of course, this is now on S Cinetone. I changed the A7R4 or changed the A7 IV to S Cinetone back to where I wanted it. And I, I've been all over the place with what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of. I thought immediately before I even got this that I was gonna get rid of the A7 IV and the ZV-E10 and keep the A7R4. And I stand shamefully corrected when I said that there was no reason for me to get the A7R5 until they released the A7R5. Every possible thing that I can think of points to me upgrading to that camera. So now I'm thinking about getting rid of the A7R4, the A7 IV, the ZV-E10. All three of those cameras will go away to pay for the A7R5, and this will be my filming camera. And of course, I have the Fuji X-T4, which is gonna be my walk around, everyday street shooting, everyday camera for stills, not video. And that's the way it goes. So, all right, I've blathered on enough. I just wanted to do a quick video to tell you that as I predicted, you weren't gonna get a video all week. 
but we're going to kind of get back to the regularly scheduled program. Maybe not every day, but not as long of a gap as this week was. So missed you all. Can't wait to get back to it. But that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me and for waiting around. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.